What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Howell and today we are going to perform sorcery. Yes, I said it. Magic will be performed in this video because we are going to go over dynamic service levels inside of NetApp's Cloud Volume Service in Google Cloud. Man, this is going to be fun. I've been really looking forward to doing this one and showing this one to you guys. If you've been following along, great. You're going to have a good time. What I would recommend if this is your first video that you found this on, head back to the beginning and start with introducing Cloud Volume Service. But for everybody that's ready, grab a drink and enjoy. So here we are, guys, once again, back in the Google Cloud console. This time in the consoles straight away, we are, we are in App Vol 1. Uh, which has a fun, funky, quirky name, you could say. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about dynamic service levels today with a very quick demo. So this is a short one, but hang tight. I promised you sorcery, and you're going to get sorcery. Check this out. So because it is at the extreme tier, it's currently getting 128 megabytes per second, right? But because it's one terabyte, that's a multiplier of one. So you're going to get a total throughput of 128 megabytes per second. What if we were to mount that same volume and run that same FIO test on a second instance? What do you guys think would happen? Hmm. Something like, I don't know. Maybe it would auto level and balance out. Hmm. Let's take a look and see what that looks like here. So let's mount this same thing up onto an additional volume, right? Or, or sorry, excuse me, an additional instance to the same volume. And once you run that FIO command, uh, you're going to begin to see, look at that. It's going to automatically level out and you're going to see it go from 128 on 1 to 60 to 70 on 2, maintaining that same total overall throughput and bandwidth. Uh, but you know what? Let's fire it up on a third one see what happens. Oh, it levels off completely. We go down to 40, 40, and 40. No load balancers. No trickery, nothing, right? But we're not done here. What if this is all great, this is all well and good, we've scaled out our application across multiple instances, but we're still dealing with that same level of performance in SLA that we had before because of the way the multipliers work. So we, we still need to get some more performance out of this. So the one way to do that is to head over, back over to our one terabyte volume, which is the original size, all we're going to do is come in here and change the capacity allocated to this volume to five terabytes. That's it. Nothing else changed. Click save. And we're going to go back over to our consoles and watch magic happen. Nothing up the sleeves. No trickery involved. I promise. Abracadabra, we're getting a massive amount of performance out of this. Now this has to do a lot with QoS levels and things like that on the back end, but what you need to understand is that you have dynamic scaling, dynamic scale out and auto leveling and auto balancing from a combination of using cloud volume service from NetApp and inside of Google Cloud. Right? Like how is that even possible without some kind of load balancer or something else in there, some mechanism in there to do that for you? It all happens natively inside of Google Cloud leveraging that app cloud volume service. It will balance it across a seemingly infinite number of nodes as long as you've got the right service level, capacity, and performance and throughput to go through uh, with, with all of that. Man, that is one that I was mostly excited about and I couldn't wait to show it to you guys. Thank you so much for watching it with me. and. That's going to be a wrap on this Cloud Volume Service Series on Google Cloud. We've got many more products in the Public Cloud Services portfolio here at NetApp, and I can't wait to show you the rest of those as we go through this entire portfolio. Make sure you're subscribed here to the channel by pounding that big red button. Set your notification to all so you get notified anytime we do put up brand new videos. My name is Nick Howell. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and we will see you next time.